All right, Big Bang, it's the rundown. It's Wednesday, it's February 22nd. It's myself, Eddie, it's White Sox, Dave, and it's Donnie. Uh, big video dropping tonight, guys. I'm yep. very excited. Yeah. Episode one. We'll get, we'll get into that in the after show. Uh, also, we want to say the St. Patrick's Day merch line is available now in the Barcelona store. Uh, we got this sick uh, Irish car bomb shirt, hoodie. Love White it. Sox, Dave, a little blurry. Uh yeah, I got the background thing on, but we got like a ten new items in our store. It's our our merch is actually awesome. Yeah, uh, a lot of good stuff there. Go check it out. There's a a lot of uh, a lot of the brands have really cool shit. So go check it out. Uh, Store.barcelosports.com, and uh, to guarantee your delivery by St. Patrick's Day, gotta get those orders in quick. So uh, go hop on there and go do it. Uh, all right, first topic here. So this came in late, so it didn't make yesterday's rundown. So we threw it on today. Uh, the Alabama basketball situation uh, turns out that the uh, star player, Brandon Miller, who's going to be like a top five pick right now, um, gave the gun to uh, the person who who shot that young woman. So from what I understand, it was Darius Miles gun that Brandon Miller already was in possession of. And I don't know if it was like legally registered or all of that. I don't know what the laws in Alabama are, um, but when he asked for the gun back, he's like, oh, yeah, sure, it's your gun. And he just gave it back to him. And that's why he's not really being implicated. He didn't know that he – and I could be wrong there. Feel free to fact check with Tony Reale and all that. But um, from what I understand, he's been kind of vindicated. Nonetheless, everything that the head coach said, Oates, dude, be more tone deaf, man. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's bad. It's like – someone lost their life you gotta fucking you gotta be like oh he's not in trouble like they, he, he's clearly not worried about the loss of life he's worried about his star player yes. potentially missing time you know yeah he's trying to save the season right yeah and they're ranked oh well i think second now they were they've been up and down between first second third all year um so they're a loaded team they have a chance at winning it all he doesn't want to he doesn't want to fuck that up the head coach but some things are bigger than sports, as a wise man once told me. So I don't know. I think I think this uh this head coach needs to get fucking smacked in the face with like some internet bullying or something. Well, that's already been happening. People are oh, yeah, that, that you know what that has been happening, yeah. but like it's 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 the most earned internet beating of all time. Yeah, people are fucking pissed at him. I mean, he said wrong place, wrong time. Yeah, like dude, come on, mm -hmm. man. Yeah, it, it's so, hard. Like, kid got a fucking like one of the kids got a DUI or something like that, which obviously is awful. But you know, someone lost their life. Yeah, yeah, it, it's bad situation. And John Rich, if you do have a fact check, jump in here at any point. Um, but you could be very right, Dave. I, I, I the situation's been hard to follow because I know the Alabama people, or at least I should say some. I shouldn't say I shouldn't generalize them all. A lot of people seem to be coming over the top, like, hey, read the report. Like yeah. there's nothing they could do. There was no charge, so they're just doing whatever. So now the argument comes like at a school level, like that's gotta be not okay to have right to have a gun, which I believe was in the bylaws. Yeah, or like or whatever. Is that a rule? We have it. I had friends in college who had their hunting rifles. And they yeah, just... on campus, I think was like the thing. But yeah, yeah. Obviously, this was you know, this wasn't, this wasn't campus housing, but they'd have them in their yeah, cars. And... Exactly. I don't know. There's a lot, like, like I said, it's, it's a, it's a tough story to talk about because a, obviously someone tragically died and, and B, yeah. because it still doesn't seem like we have the full clear picture. At least, right. I know. Yeah. At least I, at least I'm not up to snuff about it at all. Uh, at all. Yeah. I mean, yeah. did they have a gun on things. campus? Cause that seems pretty, uh, pretty clear cut like if you're not allowed to do that then he should face repercussions yeah johnny yeah, i was gonna say the only thing i'll add i don't see necessarily anything about like the specific laws yet but the court has come out and said there's nothing they can charge the kid with yeah. so i guess as far as the law goes like he is he has been cleared yeah so if he's cleared like i have no problem with him playing if he is if there's sincerely no wrongdoing at that point, you got to just – the head coach, man, like uh, the, the, you, you got to know that you can't say that kind of shit. You have to know. Yeah, I, I don't know. We'll we'll see. We'll, we'll see how it shakes out because I don't think the story's like – No, nah, I don't need it. Over. 
Right. Um, next topic here, staying in basketball. Uh, LeBron James says his son, Bronny, has uh, skyrocketed up the draft boards, and he's now considered a top 10 pick in ESPN's uh, 2024 mock draft. Uh, White Sox, Dave, what do you got? Um, I would just... I haven't seen him play much outside of like, you know, random highlights and all that. It's not like I've seeked um going out of my way to watch full game film. I have no idea if he is top 10 worthy or not, but when's LeBron James a free agent? I mean, if if that's if if you draft his son, you know you're going to have LeBron James, which also that that makes it worth it. I don't care if you draft him first overall after that point. Johnny, what do you got? And that's going to be cool. Like, I would love to see them play together for a season. Um, but I don't have much. I haven't been, like, watching his tape either. Uh, good for Braun. Um, I always knew a lot of, like, coaches growing up, and their kids would be on the team, and they would just suck at the sport. Like, yeah, yeah. I feel like all of us know someone like that. Yeah, man. Um, but I guess that doesn't happen as much with athletes because it's in the genes. If if you're like a great coach, it doesn't necessarily mean you used to be a great player. But no, I don't have anything to add. I mean, I think it would be cool to see. Um, who knows if he's like if he's getting preferential treatment, but I don't really care. Here's my thing that I think sucks. Is I- I don't think any of us are LeBron guys here on on this panel today. I'm not not one. I don't like him, and I think he's kind of corny, but I don't dislike him either. Yeah, but like, what if what if Bronny could be a really good guy, a really good kid? You know what yeah. I mean? And everyone has these preconceived notions of it because his dad, which sucks. And I know it's not only that; it comes with the over the top LeBron aspect. And like, I don't know, like he he's not going to be as bad as Levar Ball was, right? No. And no, in the no. end, LeVar Ball worked out. Like, LaMelo's fucking really good. Uh, and Le- LeVar just kind of, at least from my perspective, I haven't heard shit from him in a while, you know? No. So it's not going to be like that. So I, I don't know. I think, I think obviously a franchise, too, who needs to kind of boost their profile, boost ticket sales, boost everything, it's a 1,000% worth it, even if it's a reach. Fuck yeah, uh, I think so too. But if you're a franchise that's on the right trajectory and you have some good pieces already, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know if I'd go there. And and you're you're like a sound franchise. I don't know if I'd go, but who knows? I I it, it's it all depends on how he's evaluated here at the end. But that that's my takeaway. How many uh, father son? The only one off the top of my head I can think of is Ken Griffey Jr. and Senior that have played together in a pro sport. I mean, it's not going to happen in football because the shelf life for yeah. is so low yeah hockey i don't know a thing about hockey basketball i don't remember baseball how many, like how many seasons did the griffies play together um there might have been just like a couple year overlap but i mean there's highlights of them playing the outfield together and like ken griffey senior will be camped under ball in left field and to fuck with his dad griffey would be running from center field and just completely steal the ball from him uh <laughs> But yeah, I there's a couple where I think in that in that one play where Griffey made that over the shoulder catch. I don't know if you guys remember this, but it's like it's in all the all time highlight reels of, for defensive plays. He like caught it over his over his shoulder like it was a fade route and stuck his feet into the his cleats into the outfield wall. I think his dad was playing in that game too. But like that's like LeBron, as annoying as he is, and I hate the stupid MJ versus LeBron debate, but it's. That'll be really cool, I think. Yeah, I mean, look, I think that's, that's all. Awesome. It's kind of all he's hanging on for at this point, right? Like his team. Right. Self, what else has he got to prove? You know, he just broke the record. Um, I mean, sure, he could pull his LeBron shit and he could transport himself to another team that will be uh, much well equipped, more well equipped to win another title. But I don't know. He seems he seems like he's just such an LA content guy now. So I guess I guess we'll see what happens. He's 38 and he's putting up 30 a game with eight yeah. rebounds and seven. Still... I mean, guy's a fucking all time freak athlete, one of the greatest ever. Absolutely. Uh, next topic a Mets former uh, pitching coach is suing the Mets for age discrimination. Dave, you're a big baseball guy. Uh, how do you feel about it? This an doesn't even have anything to do with baseball, I don't think. Yeah, I mean, but you know, I, I feel like there's an aspect where, like, would you want an old pitching coach? 
fuck no. I don't want an old any coach. I don't want to old any employee. There, uh, we said this on last week's snake draft when we were drafting the presidential laws or whatever. And for the honorable mentions, I think it was I said age limits on on elected officials. I don't have an. I don't. Where do you draw the line? If they think he's too old and the game's passing by because of his age, then you fucking fire him. Or it does that doesn't even count for baseball. It counts for. Any any walk of life in prof- in any profession. Yeah, like, I mean, like, I'm sorry. I mean, do you think sorry. if I'm like 45 years old at Barstool doing TikToks, they're going to be like, "Hey, man, this is not your game. It's not really working." But or at least I used to think that, but now we have a lot of older people at the company, so I feel good. I know we always try to appeal to the younger generations, and we keep on like hiring a lot of really young guys who are still in college or right out of college. But um, I feel like there will always be a place at Barstool for the older dude. Cause we have a lot of 40 year old fans too. That is true. Yeah. I mean, there's who, who was over, who's over 40, Donnie. So we got Brandon, Brandon Walker. We got rear ad. We got large. We Dave. got Dave Portnoy. Um, Frank. Oh yeah. Frank and Mincy, I think. Is there, I I think Mincy's going to turn forty this year. You want to hear a shocker? I had no idea he was this old. Uh, Joey Camasta is like yeah. forty two or forty three or something. I mm-hmm. thought he was like my age, like thirty four, thirty five. Mm-hmm. Same here. Yeah, he's got a solid skincare routine. I'm sure. Yeah, it looks nice. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you're right. There is a lot. I, I didn't really. We got. We got quite a bit of dudes over 40 that that's an interesting dynamic for sure and like a lot of people hot on their track right uh yeah big cat i guess is he is he getting close to 40 or, big or cat i think he's like 36 right he's th- no big cat's like 38 now him and kfc oh, really? yeah because i met dan when i was like 23 and i think he was like 26 27 oh shit well, all right yeah <laughs> I'm sure there are some other people at the company that are sneakily old. I don't know. I mean, Content Dave, Kim. Content, Content Kim. Content Kim, that is correct. Yeah. How could we forget? Uh, yeah. Stu Finer, obviously. Yeah. How old is Stu? Like 57, 58? I don't know. Yeah. Don't know. But yeah, I don't know. It's a, it's a, it's an interesting discussion, Donnie. If, if, uh, but age is a age is a weird one, right? You can't you can't. I don't think you can even ask someone on their job interview how old they are. You no, you. I don't think. I think you might be right, Ed. But yeah, like, you can't. You can't say that. I mean, I like I have friends' parents who were laid off simply just because they were too old and they wanted to get in some young blood that they knew would be around for the next. That, years. that happened a lot with like our our parents because like they're they're all aging out. And, like they're they're they were baby boomers and like when they were ready to join the workforce they there was so many of them but they were so much cheaper than like their parents who had you know 40 year established careers so it's like oh you can get these guys for fucking half half off basically you know yeah Mm -hmm. and and we have them for 40 years or you know whatever it is i don't know but i i have no problem firing someone due to old age it's just part of life. Sorry, you're too so old. So it should be reverse law, huh, Dave? They should get rid of age discrimination? After a certain age, I don't know what that number would be. But, like, if you're 82, you shouldn't be in a dugout with 22-year-olds. The, I mean, the, everything that you were taught is so antiquated and archaic that, like, you're you're not going to be able to connect with these kids. What should What should be the driving age? I mean, I don't fucking know. Um, Because it changes state to state, right? Yeah, it's 16 here. I know in Jersey, because I was 16 in one of my... I'm saying that if they made a driving age limit. Oh, uh, oh, fuck, dude. Like 80? I think they they actually do in, in some countries. In some countries, you can't drive over a certain age unless you get a license that says like, Oh, I'm a really good old driver. Yeah. yeah you should have to take like a, a driving test, like yearly, like cognitive ability test or something. I mean, that's yeah. people's lives. I'll, I'll go out and say it right now. 
my New Jersey grandpa, I won't get in a car while he's driving. It's like, it's you're, you're rolling the dice on your life. Dude, I'm starting to get nervous going in the car with my parents, you know, like, it's like, yes. Like, what are we doing? I know it happens to me. I think my nine-year-old grandma, my parents had to tell her to stop driving. Like she just wanted to keep on driving. They're like, you don't really have the skills anymore. We, Dude, we yeah, just told my like, grandpa that too. We just told my grandpa that. Come well, on. that's how you feel. That's how they, they mix up the acceleration, the brake, and they plow through a salon or something. You know what I mean? And that actually happened in my hometown. This this lady went flying through the front of the bakery. Dude, and, yeah. that shit's terrifying. Like, I always like am cautious to uh, the door if you're in a situation like that. I know. I'm shaking that's- my head because he's not even lying. Like, this isn't like fluffed up for content purposes. He is a weirdo that's like constantly has his head on a swivel. Dude, you have, yeah. I don't know, like that shit happens, especially if you go to a bar that's not like a busy corner. Like, yeah, in the uh, in the town right next that happened to, to Dante the- last summer, dude. Uh, some dude just drove through the front of the Apple store, and you know, most of the Apple stores that front wall is just it's all glass. Fun. Yeah. It shattered and killed someone. And so I try not to think about that. I'm like, the chances of it happening, it's not worth my time. But uh, yeah, that would be a bad way to go. You're just shopping and get run over. Yeah, it'd be bad. Be bad um, news. Dodge yeah. is a little different, but yeah. I'm still here and there. I know what you mean, Dave. And also, uh, I, I think in China, they force you to retire at age 65 because they have to like open up new jobs for people. Just get you, them out of the workforce. You like that? Do you think there should be a an age where they just everyone has to retire? Uh, I mean, I think if they want to, like now, I mean, in America, they're pushing back retirement ages. Yeah, they're, it's every year they're pushing it back. Yeah, they're fucking making people work to like sixty seven and shit now. So I don't know. Let these people work so long. Let them get out. I think that, let's let them get out. It, what I don't know what we're doing. Uh, next topic here, a Japanese official, uh, they're investigating a mysterious sphere washed up on the beach. Uh, Donnie, you're, you're our guy, all things Asia. So we, I'll let you take this one. Yeah, so that sphere, uh, I'm pretty sure it's just a mooring buoy. And they're pretty typical. I don't even know why they're making a big deal about this. Like, I, like I've even seen some of those, uh, some of those things around the harbor. What they should be making a big deal of is now the U.S. is saying after they shot down those four unidentified objects, they're being like, yeah, we can't find them. They're like, what the fuck? Don't make a big fuss over. Oh, we're shooting down UFOs left and right. And yeah, it could just be some kid's drone or something like that. But don't just turn around now and say, we're calling off the search. No, we can't find them. There's no yeah, that, fucking way they haven't found those things. Yeah, there's no way. Or are just quitting finding them. Like, ah, yeah, whatever. I mean, there's no way. One, one theory about all those UFOs is like after that gigantic Chinese balloon flew over the US, then they just started to crack down. So they have been monitoring all these other objects for a while. And we're like, eh, they don't really pose a threat. But after the big Chinese balloon, they're like, we, we just got to shoot them all down and make a point. I mean, they could have easily been like some kids makeshift balloon or drone, but I would like to get to the bottom of it. I mean, obviously, I'm hoping it's aliens, but who knows? Uh, Dave, we, what do you got? Uh, I read it was some. It was like a World World War II depth charge or something that came from Okinawa, which is an island like a little south of Japan. It's it's part of Japan, but it's uh it's like Hawaii to us. For them, kind of, in a way, it's like a small little volcanic island or some shit, but um, I don't know. Like, people are like, oh, my God, it's a mysterious orb. It's a fucking, like, <laughs> if I were to look at that, I, I would be like, oh, that's like an anchor or something. The only thing I disagree with, like, I don't know, I, my, my brain was going. It, they said it was metal. That thing looks like a fucking Aliosaurus egg. Like, that looked like we're prepping for Jurassic World 4. Like, that it's thing got like. like- it's just got like sea shit all over it. Yeah. Yeah, but it, it has a it has this one little knob on it where you can tie a rope to it. That's what that's why I thought it was like an anchor of some sort. But I don't know. I don't think it's anything to even really talk about. And it's on every fucking news tabloid on the planet. It's just like 
the news like they know if they can report some mysterious object either on earth or up in the it's sky true. they, they yes. know it's gonna, gonna go crazy get a bunch of yeah. clicks you but won't be saying that though like, dave but fucking lock this monster pops out of that fucking thing you won't be saying that i need about uh, tree fitty last uh last topic here uh jersey shore boardwalk uh, is banning a carney for 10 <laughs> years for overinflating basketballs I didn't even know that you could get a ban. I didn't even know that it's against the rules to rig these games. We just all assumed it was rigged anyways, and we still fucking made, like shove our money in their throats. Yeah, so apparently what the ban is, so it's a 10-year ban. Uh, she was fined 15K, and uh, that's three times the recommended levels uh, and made it nearly impossible. And it was the Jersey Shore Boardwalk Commission. They monitor the games and make sure that they're fair. Yeah, right? the fact that there's a boardwalk commission. What the fuck? It, that I mean, that just means that people were cheating. Like, obviously, carnies cheat. That's what carnies do. They rip yeah, you off. Yeah, I mean, like, we all know that. And we enter we enter that yeah, like, going in, you know? Yeah, like, I, like, we all know SIGs cause cancer. There's still a lot of people who smoke SIGs. We all know the the carny dude is going to rip us off, but it's still kind of fun every once in a while. Yeah, and listen, I don't like. There's got to be some type of commission because you can't have a guy with a little TV tray, you know, playing three card Monty like Hey Arnold and like ripping people off. A couple like that has to exist, but I didn't know they're they're watching the basketball game. So there's so I know I've been to this boardwalk a thousand times in my life, and there's a there's a note in here under this story where. Um, so, you know, the spin, the wheel thing is you hit the button and you got to like, guess which part the arrow lands on and you win like a stuffed animal or whatever. They all like you, you can walk up to one of those spin the wheel things and it'll just be one or two and you got to guess one or two. So you have 50% shot of winning and they have all these massive fucking stuffed animals. And then when you do win, they give you the little stuffed animal. That's like this big. And you yeah. can just chuck it in the garbage. So it's all false advertisement. Like all of them. Why this, why that part of the story was even in here. Like that has been going on as long as there's been carnivals yeah. or these types of, you know, amusement like venues or whatever. That's true. That's true. Um, all right. Anything else in the carny or we can just go to the after show. So you guys went to the Dominican. Was it the Dominican world series? Yeah. Yeah. The lead on um, world series. And you guys have what a six part series coming out here? Something five. like that. Five, yeah. It's it's maybe we, five. Um, but the first two vids are just all about the baseball games and the World Series itself. And I they are by far the ones to watch. Hello. If you're going to tune in because the atmosphere at these games is it's insane. You can get, um, you can get just plastic bottles of booze. Um, so you, you just show up and you just buy a bottle of rum. They pour it into a plastic water bottle for you. And everyone's just walking around drinking straight rum. Um, the fans are incredible. They are going nuts the entire time. I mean, it's wilder than anything I've seen at a game in the U S it, it's it doesn't even compare the atmosphere at that game. Granted, it was a World Series game, and it was the world for them. It was the clinching game. Um, I just based on like being around those fans, I don't think that it was that rowdy be, only because it was the World Series. I would imagine it's like that for most games. It was it was the coolest atmosphere I've ever been at at a baseball game, other than the blackout game, probably. It 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 was unmatched, and there's drum lines, cheerleaders, chants. It was like EPL meets SEC football, and you're playing baseball. It the, was uh, fucking the picture, awesome. I, I told you when you got back the picture you posted of all the guys on the home run bridge. Just it was all awesome. yeah. So yeah, those are they're like yeah. There's like young kids on the outfield wall with bags tied to sticks, just trying to catch home runs. In uh, practice, yeah. The stadiums also have. Domino's, Wendy's, Taco Bell. Really? Yeah, like all our fast food place. Yeah. yeah, there's ladies 
wearing the Wendy's uniforms, walking up and down the aisles, taking your orders. That's um, that's unique. Yeah, I that's... found that crazy too. The Staples Center has a McDonald's. I don't know, like that was really weird to me. But I always bring yeah. that up. But I, it was caught me off guard. But that's crazy too. Uh, it was pretty cheap too. Like I got a six pack and a bottle of rum for for under twenty five bucks, which is not bad. Um, six now, pack of nuggets. No, a, a six oh. pack of beers. <laughs> you can just walk around with like a six pack under your yeah. arm. It's awesome. Uh, That's sick. I, I will say Dave was in high spirits and good health the first video, but the second video dropping next week, he starts to fall apart. Yeah. So, so sick. little food. I, there, I mean, this isn't even a spoiler because I, I didn't want to film because I thought I was dying. But after the after the first game on the way home. So we were, we, we were staying in Santo Domingo, the capital and uh, San Pedro de Macri, which is where Sammy Sosa amongst many other, like very famous major league players, hall of fame level type players are from, they're like an hour 15 apart or so on the way home. It, it was, it was late. It was like probably midnight at, at that point. And I started feeling my stomach. I was like, man, my stomach kind of hurts. Throughout the night, it it was just a sharp pain in the side of my in in my like on this in my oblique kinda. And I woke Donnie up. I'm like, yo, dude, I think my appendix is about to it was some of the worst pain I've ever felt in my life. I've seen yeah. stars. He he woke me up the first morning, was like, We need to go to the hospital. I think I'm gonna die. My appendix burst. <laughs> And I was like, Jesus Christ. So so just, it sounds like we're in for quite a ride for this video. So yeah. what times it dropped, Donnie, and where could people find it? Uh, drops after the dozen tonight. So probably between 740 and 8 on the Wonton Don YouTube page. Awesome. Go check that out. Also, congrats to Mark Titus, new as Barstool employee. Go look to him with this Alabama story. I don't know what we said yeah, that's, true. that's alleged and whatnot, but take it all to grain of salt. I'm sure he'll have more once he gets off and running here with his show. Uh, mm -hmm. Obviously, great college basketball podcaster. So. All right, guys, go check out that video. I'm excited to watch it. I really am. When Dave it, got it's, back, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be great. I'm pumped. I'm pumped. I know people are gonna like this one. Uh, I, I, I don't think my Spanish was that bad. It's no, no. It's it, um, it yeah. Took a minute. Actually, weirdly well, enough, the fact that you didn't know how to say thirsty, like that, was concerning because water is one of the only things you need to survive. Like if right, you can't like, say, "I'm thirsty. I need some water," then we're kind of yeah. fucked. You were you. I lost a lot of just simple nouns, but like the conjugation, it 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 doesn't. You don't really forget that. But at the same time, I don't know. I think I hung fine. There's yeah, gonna no, be parts I, where I completely fucked up. Like Donnie sent me a clip yesterday, and this was towards the end of the game and the second game, and I was just so fucking miserable. And I remember telling Donnie, I, like when we were going from the airport when we landed to uh, the Airbnb, I'm like. He he asked me to translate a song that was on the radio. I'm like, dude, translating songs like fucking impossible for someone like me because they're bouncing their voices differently and making mm -hmm. rhymes and shit. It's, it's well, different. Yeah, and well, let's. He, we're about to time out here, Dave. But let uh let the, I think the Zoom's gonna time out. But go watch it tonight. And I'm sure we'll watch it tonight. It. Yeah, Donnie, we'll have you on the mid show. We'll recap it. We'll get into it all. Okay. Yeah. yeah tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow afternoon. All right, sweet. All right, everybody. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, tune into the rundown tomorrow.